Welcome to Learnpedia, the ultimate JE and NEET prep tool that is currently being used by over 20,000 students. Now let's see if you can answer this actual JE question. If you think you got the answer, then post it in the comment section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch this video. Angular frequency. So first thing is frequency. What is frequency? Here, the one point I'd like to add that let us first understand we have the solution x is equal to a sine omega t plus phi. And we know that it is a periodic kind of a motion. x repeats itself after a fixed interval of time t. So repetition of the sine function is complete when angle, this particular angle over which the sine function is operated is changed by 2 pi. Okay, so what is the duration in which this particular thing changes by 2 pi will be the time period. Okay, so this particular term omega t plus phi is known as phase basically. So this phase term omega t plus phi is known as the phase, phase of the particle, okay, which is a linear function of time. Phase is a linear function of time. And whenever there is a change of 2 pi in phase, then the motion will be repeated as we are all aware of the character of the sine function of the cos function that this particular angle, the unit is in radians. So obviously, omega here, Omega unit must be radian per second so that omega into t becomes radian. And whenever there is a change of 2 pi in phase, the same thing will get repeated back. For example, if we say phase 1 value at certain instant of time is omega t plus phi and then after delta t seconds, the phase becomes omega t plus delta t plus phi. So, what is the change in the phase delta? The phase change will be what? Omega delta t. This is the phase change. So, whenever there is a phase change of integral multiple of the 2 pi means for same status of the particle, omega delta t must be changed by integral multiple of 2 pi means n times 2 pi 2 n pi. And for the minimum time interval, if n is 1, in that case, this particular time interval is known as the time period, the minimum time in which the motion is repeated again. So, omega into capital T is 2 pi. So, it becomes T is equal to 2 pi by omega. So, time period here is 2 pi by omega and here omega is known as angular frequency which is written as 2 pi by capital T. 1 upon capital T is what? Frequency which can be written as nu and here it is written as a small letter p. So, omega becomes 2 pi nu or here you can say that omega is 2 p f which is pi. So, don't mind that it is basically 2 pi nu. Nu is the frequency which is in hertz as it is written here. So, have you got this whole concept that if solution of the SHM is x is equal to a sine omega t plus phi, then the thing on which this sine function is operated, this thing is known as the phase. And as far as the character of the sine function and the cos function are concerned with that, we know that it gets repeated after a phase change of 2 pi. So, phase is omega t plus phi, which is a linear function of time. Okay and time and omega here is angular frequency whose unit is radian per second. So, omega into time is basically the radian. Okay. So, time period is equivalent to phase change of 2 pi. The capital T is the time interval which brings a phase change of 2 pi in motion. That way also you can understand and this is something that is not required because we have already understood that frequency is 1 by capital T. The time period that we have already learned that time period since it is 2 pi by omega 
and we, as we have seen earlier that in case of x is equal to a sin omega t plus delta we know that x is the solution only when omega is under root k by m where k is force constant of the system where k is force constant of the system and m is mass of the corresponding particle so using the value of the omega what we get is that time period is 2 pi under root m by k okay if i tell you about one thing that uh, in case of spring as you have already learned that spring behaves in the same manner suppose at this instant of time this spring is in its natural length so no force will be exerted on the body so this is the mean position if we move this object by a distance x from the mean position the spring gets extended and will apply a force proportional to it kx and opposite to the displacement the whole concept means spring is one of such systems which can qualify to be a simple harmonic okay so in case if we pull this block on this side and release then we can see that the time period of oscillation has to be this because here k is force constant of the spring time period will be like this from 2 pi by omega as omega is under root k by m okay so what is phi so as we know that phase is omega t plus phi then at t is equal to 0 the value of the phase is phi okay so value of the phase at t is equal to 0 is phi so it is what initial phase initial phase of the particle or we can say it to be phase constant so how do you decide the value of the phi the phase constant it depends on the choice of the time t is equal to 0 means suppose take a situation that there is a particle which is already oscillating about a mean position with some amplitude it is oscillating and you want to represent this particle in terms of this x equation so you want to write x of this particle as a sinusoidal function then what you need the first fall you need a t is equal to 0 when you declare the time t is equal to 0 at that time the particle may be at the mean position or may not be at the mean position maybe somewhere else also so that is what is something which is taken care by the phi the phase constant the initial phase what was the initial status means key where was the particle when you selected the instant at time t is equal to 0 for example if the equation is written as x is equal to a sine omega t then it means at time t is equal to 0 the particle is at mean position clearly a x is 0 and what about the velocity velocity is a omega cos omega t means at time t is equal to 0 the particle velocity v is a omega in the positive direction so particle starts from here and move in this direction so phase constant is 0 phi is 0 means if you select the time t is equal to 0 at an instant when the particle is at the mean position and moving in the positive direction then you can choose phase constant to be 0 and in the same case suppose at time t is equal to 0 the particle is at the mean position but was found to be moving in the opposite direction then what would be the value of x in that case x will be a sin omega t plus pi pi will be the phase constant because you can see that if you differentiate it x to get the velocity you will get a omega cos omega t plus pi and at t is equal to 0 the velocity is minus a omega so here pi is the phase constant so that is how the value of the phase constant is to be selected depending on the choice of t is equal to 0 means when you select t is equal to 0 where was the particle the initial state of the particle is taken care of by this phase constant phi velocity velocity it is the rate of change of particles displacement with respect to time at that instant and we have already understood that so no need for further clarification in that that velocity is a omega cos omega t plus phi but at this point of time i'd like to draw your attention to one important relation that if you see that say x by a whole square plus and if you can v by a omega whole square then what you'll get sine square plus cos square the same thing the one all right 
So x upon a whole square plus v upon a omega whole square is 1. So basically here you can write v as how? Omega under root a square minus x square. Because here you can see that you can write it uh, like uh, if you multiply the whole thing by a square omega square, what you will get? v square plus omega square x square equal to a square omega square. So take this term on that side, you will get this thing. So v is plus minus omega under root a square minus x square. This is the important relation that you can use very often in case of numerical examples. This is very important formula I am telling you. And one more thing here that this relation here as you can see that if we make a graph between x and v it will be a elliptical kind of a graph okay that you can clearly see here. So that is about the velocity. So now velocity as we have already done up to this point that v is dx by dt if we assume a x is equal to a sin omega t plus phi then dx by dt is this thing a omega cos omega t plus phi and v can be written like this that we have already explained. So at mean position at time x is equal to 0 the particle's velocity is omega a which is the maximum velocity. So these things you have to keep in your mind always that when particle crosses the mean position at that time it has got the maximum velocity of a omega. When the particle is at the extreme position at that time it has got the maximum acceleration of omega square a towards the mean position but velocity of the particle will be zero at the extreme position. So similarly for other points and velocity minimum is zero at the extreme position. Hey there, hope you understood the concept. Here's the solution to the question asked at the beginning. Found this video useful? Hit the like and share buttons to enjoy more such videos. Learnpedia's JE and NEED prep tools contain over 4,000 videos and over 20,000 questions. You can access them online, on our website, and offline through SD card or pen drive solutions. Buy now at www.learnpedia.n. You can also try a free demo of a product before making a purchase.